Hello, welcome to our series on IGCSE Economics. This is Unit 1, The Basic Economic Problem, Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1 yet, please click above. Today we will look at a concept called opportunity cost and we will take a brief look at different economic systems. You may remember from our last video that we talked about wants being unlimited but resources being scarce and this leads to the basic economic problem. What products do we produce and for who? One easy resource to think about for personal choices is money. Say you only had $100, what are you going to do? Spend it on food? Clothing? Entertainment? Maybe choices need to be made. Governments face the same problem. Given a finite amount of money, what should we spend it on? Something like defence? Roads? Healthcare? And how much should we give to each thing? Opportunity cost is the benefit foregone by giving up the next best alternative use of scarce resources. Opportunity cost is the cost of choice. What would you buy with $10? How should the government spend $150 million? Or should the government cut taxes by $250 million? What occupation will you choose when you finish your studies? How should a new business invest $20 million? Should we conserve more natural resources? And what are the next best alternatives foregone? For instance, if I had a potato, I could make french fries. Or a baked potato, but I couldn't make both. The opportunity cost of making french fries is to give up the baked potato. The opportunity cost for making the baked potato is the french fries. This choice also extends through to businesses and governments. If we have unused land, do we use that for farmland? Or do we build a city? If we have a load of steel, do we use that to make a bridge or a building? This idea of choice brings us to our first graph used in this class. It's called the production possibility curve. The production possibility curve, or PPC, represents potential prospects for the production of a pair of products. It's really important to be able to use this graph and you need to practice. First we're going to start off with a table that shows the production possibility of two goods. In this example, cars and trucks. As you can see from the chart, if I spend all my time producing cars, we can make 100 cars per week. If we just make trucks, we can make 120 trucks. If we plot this curve, we can show how many we can make of each item. Everything inside the curve is possible, but we are not being our most efficient. Everything outside the curve is not possible unless we expand the amount of resources we have. The production on the line is the most efficient use of the resources. If we shift the production from say 80 to 98 trucks per week in this example, we reduce the number of cars we can make from 60 to 50. So our opportunity cost for 18 more trucks per week is 10 cars per week. The great thing about this curve is that it shows some pretty key concepts in economics. It's going to show scarcity, trade-off and opportunity cost. We will come back to this curve quite a bit as we work our way through other units.
please subscribe to receive notifications of new episodes in the series as well as check out the quizzes down below and there is a link to a Google Classroom. Last topic of the day, economic systems. This is only going to be like a brief overview but we will come back to it during Unit 5 when we have a closer look at governments. Firstly, let's look at planned economies. The government makes the decisions about what is produced, how it is produced and who produces it. The government is the main owner of land, labour and capital, those all important factors of production. The government is the employer, sets wages and decides prices. The government issues its instructions through directives. There are few planned economies in the world. Goods produced may not match the customers' wants. A good example of this would be somewhere like North Korea. Next, let's look at market economies. They are also known as free enterprise economies. They have minimum government involvement or intervention. 